Sit down, everyone. My thought, my reflection for the day, my message for you is don't be afraid of hard work. Don't be afraid to work hard. If you're setting big goals for this year, for the next few years, if you're trying to achieve what you know very few people in society have actually achieved, if you're trying to get, for example, in terms of fitness, if you're trying to get that body that you know that people on social media are going to stop and look and be like, wow, that's impressive. Well, that's only a handful of people, right? 1% of society has a very, very impressive physique. Maybe less, I don't know, a few percent. The bigger the goal, the harder you have to work, naturally. And I know that's common sense, just a reminder, because a lot of us, including me, I've struggled with this, have, have, are entitled. We spend plenty of time dreaming, kind of assuming that if you just dream or you have these big goals or you, you want something bad enough, that it's going to happen. Nah, you can't just dream, you got to do. I know it's common sense, but I spent plenty of time dreaming. I spent years of my life just, you know, writing out the, goal, the, the things I want to accomplish. Thinking about how awesome it would be to accomplish those things. Talking about the things I want to accomplish. But at the end of the day, you have to get up and do. For those who have a physique that's really, really impressive, right? Those who are very, very fit, very, very strong, whatever it is. They're professional athletes or even close to that. Know that they put in thousands of hours. They probably started dribbling or shooting and so on. They spent time on the pitch, on the court, probably from 5 years old or at least 10, 15 years old. And they did that for hours every day for days every you know days out of the week probably almost every day or so weeks on end week after week for years years in a row years on end to be an expert at something to be a master at something you gotta put in thousands of hours right so the bigger the goal the harder you have to work common sense don't be entitled and know that those hours every day of just scrolling through social media with some benefit but a lot of it is a waste of time no that's gonna you're gonna regret that probably in the future i already know that i already do i'm 28 I have no doubt that at 50, 60, 70, if God gives me life to, you know, to live till then, I'm going to regret it even more that I spent years of my teenage years and 20 years, you know, my 20s, you know, just scrolling. Again, some of it is beneficial. I, I learn something new every once in a while, right? You might follow somebody that's accomplished something. Even if they're, if they're an athlete, you'll learn something from them. If they're a fitness person, you'll learn something from them. If they're a motivational speaker or whatever it is, you'll learn something. But hours out of the day, you, you, spending 30 minutes or an hour a day watching something beneficial on YouTube and then spending the next few hours Trying to accomplish those goals, that's more beneficial. This is going to be depressing and sad and it's going to sound negative, but I don't mean it to be so, but I was thinking about this. The majority of people are going to live and die and not actually accomplish their dreams. They're not going to accomplish their goals. They're not going to get, it's not that they're not going to accomplish anything in life, but they're not going to accomplish those the big goals that they had, the things that they grew up dreaming that they wanted to do and chances are they're not going to accomplish it. The majority of people probably won't accomplish those goals because almost everybody has a dream, but not everyone does. You have to do. Check this out. The statistic, the statistic says that 80% of people hate their jobs. So they're just going through the motion, right? They're just you know, waking up, whatever it is, 8 to 4, 9 to 5, whatever it is. They go to work and they do just enough so that their manager doesn't fire them. They do enough just so that their boss doesn't have any like, negative criticism of them. They just check those things off the list. But they're not really you know, putting in their 100 to 10%. They're not looking at the strengths and weaknesses and their personalities and their specific you know, interests and their ambitions. They're not really putting that to good use. Hours every day, you know, the weeks go by, years go by, your 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, you dedicate that to a company. Nothing wrong with being an employee. The majority of people are employees, like 98% of society in America. But they're not giving it their 100%, but you have one life to live. It's just something to think about. I encourage you, especially if you're you know, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and you're watching this, generally if you're younger, my age or younger, at least consider starting your own business. In America, I think the statistic says like 2% of people have their own business. Small minority of people. And probably only a fraction of them actually have successful businesses that are thriving. But if you have one life to live, is it worth trying to consider, like, thinking about whether you can start your own business, doing something that's more meaningful to you, and then you're gonna put in more work. You can't just go eight to four, nine to five. You're probably gonna put in Saturdays and Sundays as well, evenings. You're gonna go to sleep thinking about and waking up thinking about your business, especially if you want to be successful, and it's not even guaranteed. But is it worth it? I think so. At least consider. At least consider giving it your 100%. You're trying to master something, you're trying to be a professional or an expert at something. You gotta put in those thousands of hours. These NBA players that we watch, these soccer players, just as an example, they dribbled thousands of times, hours every day, weeks after week, year after year. Generally, they started younger, but you know, if it's not in the realm of athletics where it's very important that you're younger because you're, you know, you're biologically in our teens and twenties, you will never be like that in our thirties, forties, fifties. So they have to start younger. And, but if it's something else like business, some other aspect of life, or so on, you can start in your twenties and thirties. You can start later. That's all right. But you're gonna have to put in those five, 10, 15 years. You can't become an expert at something, you can't master something. You can't accomplish something that only a few people in society have accomplished and, and expect that it's gonna happen overnight. It's impossible, it doesn't work that way. That doesn't make any sense, think about it. So I've had the, I've, I still struggle with uh, being entitled. I guess it naturally comes to the fact that we grew up like in, in the suburbs, in a major city in America, for example. We grew up with a you know, sheltered life. 
We grew up where we didn't have to worry about food and you know, shelter and clothing. We didn't have to worry about our needs. So we just spent time dreaming. We were very spoiled. I know that might not be all of you, but I think a majority of you watching me probably have a similar, similar upbringing. Even if it wasn't the U.S., you probably grew up in another culture where, in another country that where generally it was safe. I know some of you that wasn't the case, but some of my friends grew up in Syria and Iraq and other places. You know, some of my friends are Afghani, some of my friends are you know Bosnian, some of my friends are Palestinian, some of my friends you know immigrated here from Palestine. I didn't. Some of you guys grew up in Lebanon, where it's really rough now, and it's been rough for for, for a while now. But a lot of you that are watching this probably grew up in the U.S., U.K., Australia, New Zealand. You know, maybe you live in Saudi and Qatar, etc. You maybe live in, you know, Germany and other European countries. You generally have a good life. So it's very natural to look at other people on social media and believe that you are enti you, you, you deserve to have, you will have one day that 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. That, you know, 50K followers on Instagram, 500K on Instagram, depending on how ambitious you are. Know that that's totally within your reach. It is possible, but it's a lot harder than you think. So do the work. Don't just dream. That's my message. I'm not trying to put you down. But I have to remind myself at a certain point, I'm not 18 anymore, I'm not 10 years old anymore, I'm not 15 anymore, I'm 28. I have to be more realistic, which is great. Know that whatever goals you are, you have to break them down. And you can work towards them, you're capable of them, but you gotta do the work. Dreaming by itself is not gonna do anything. Just a reflection. Remember to set goals, if you're still setting goals for this year. And again, January, January 1st, you know, beginning of a new academic year, a new Gregorian year, the new, uh, you know, new year on the calendar. It's arbitrary, it's random. So I'm not trying to harp on that, but just know that setting goals in general, I do highly recommend it. Obviously, it's recommended for many reasons, but um, nothing you don't have to do the work. It's easy to set goals, easy to write them down. It's harder to do them. So yeah, have done so far. I had I had a number of goals for this year. One of them was fitness. I hadn't been in the gym for the last number of years. You know, I grew up going to the gym regularly, and then I haven't in my 20s. So I got back in the gym, and it feels great. Right now, pretty much every muscle in my body is sore. And for those who know, you know, it's a great feeling. Uh, my traps are sore from yesterday and biceps and my forearms have been sore because I, although I haven't worked them out directly, I guess they were weaker than most of my other muscles. So when I did the big compound movements like flipping tires, they got sore, which is great, but it means I have to work on them more. My, my, my quads and hamstrings and glutes are, are sore from you know, flipping tires. My calves are sore from yesterday, I finished them off. The smaller muscles, I, I worked them out yesterday because the two days before that, I did just the big upper body, big lower body movements and that got almost every muscle sore. So I'm pretty much sore all over. I'm probably gonna take a break today, maybe even tomorrow, and then get back in the gym and, and break it down to maybe three or four different days. You know, like chest and triceps, back and biceps, legs, abs, etc. Looking forward to getting back in the gym. Alhamdulillah, it's been a great feeling. But it's easy to go back in the gym. It's easy to go two, three, four times. It's hard to go day 100, day 150, 200. It's hard to go for the second year in a row, the third year in a row, the fifth year in a row. It's no longer exciting, right? And the movements are no longer very new or, you know, you can change things up every once in a while and you should, but overall it's getting repetitive. But if you want results, you have to go a few years in a row. So, inshallah, I hope to do so. And I hope to continue to encourage you guys to do so. And you'll continue to see small clips of me doing different workouts in the gym. I hope that motivates you. It motivates me. So, alhamdulillah. Uh, feel free to, my DMs are open, right? If you're seeing this on Instagram, I put this on YouTube as well. A little bit of this on Snapchat, maybe. But if you're seeing this on Instagram, know that my DMs are open, right? You can message me about anything, anytime. If I know the answer, I would love to answer. If you want to get on a Zoom session, you know, a Zoom call and and I do paid Zoom calls, but you can ask me questions about some of the things that I've tutored and mentored over the years. If you have academic goals, if you have, you know, life goals that I can help with, I would love to. I'll try to, try to charge you a reasonable amount. Uh, if you want to get on a phone call, that's probably going to be cheaper, but I'm here for you guys. Uh, if you just want to chat, DM me. Uh, I'm at your service, inshallah. Anyway, I can help with you accomplishing your goals. We'll talk very soon, inshallah. Salam.